Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode here of your Hamilton Tigers franchise series. We are about to tick off the draft, and there are some gems in this draft, so we might want to move up if we can. I kind of want a defenseman here in the first round. Let's see if we can get a Zach McAllister, wouldn't be bad, or Brendan Patini. Also, he's got some size. That wouldn't be bad as all. Oof. There are some couple options here in this draft. So we'll see where we fall. But right now, I'm kind of interested to see what we can do. I don't want to blow it up just yet. Just because of the injury luck we had. We were doing so well when our team was healthy. Oops, sorry, I hit the mic. But... We definitely need changes. What can retired players? Malkin, over 1,500 points. Chessel, over 1,200. Tavares retires. Forcheck, Jeff Carter, David Perron, Zuccarello, Ryan Suter, Cam Atkinson. Man, oh man, I'm feeling old. Mike Hoffman, Sam Donye, Stepan, Eller, Lee, Krug, Spurgeon. Wow, there's not going to be many guys left I know in the NHL anymore. My goodness, everyone's retiring. Look at this, Donstoy, Delzado, Rast, Zizekas, Nieto, Hamannick. What about goalies? Terry Price has finally retired. 473 wins. Varlamov, our very short-term answer for a backup goalie, is retired. Cam Talbot, Antiranta, just shy of 200 wins. I mean, yeah, like... You think at that point, if you're that close to 200 wins, why not just try to get one more win before you retire? That, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you just lost the love of the game. But here we are. We got the draft coming up. Honestly, we've only had Shane Wright, Michael Misa be the only draft picks to really crack our roster since this franchise has started. The prospect development on our team has not been going the way we'd like. But hey, we should have some young forwards coming up next season though, so that will change things. But we want to see what we can do with the draft here, see who uh, wants to move some draft picks around. Edmonton Oilers, they want to trade their pick. They're sixth overall. Alright, so we can add our 17th. And what else do we want to add to this? We want to shed some salary as well. It's like the Oilers only have three million in cap space. Uh, what if we get rid of uh, prospect? Maybe. Who knows? Let's see. Who do we want to trade? Yeah, Michael Misa. He's still twenty years old, so probably not. But Josh Morrissey. He's got one year left uh, next season. Thompson, he's been kind of a disappointment. He's not worth the 9.2. Honestly, he's, yeah, he's only played with us for two years, but I honestly, that's, uh, yeah, brutal. The Akrapov, there's another you know, young guy that stepped up this year. Uh, Matthew Boldy, I think. Let's try to take in Tage Thompson's spot, and if we can find a center in free agency, I think Tage Thompson has become tradable now. Andrew Kristall, he should be ready for next year as well. Yeah, some tough, tough decisions coming up this episode here. So we got Carpenin, Lennox. Carpenin, we're not trading. We already traded away one goalie prospect at the deadline for Matthew Boldy. Uh, t -t -t Thomas Harley, he's an RFA. He's only been a bottom pair defenseman for us. He hasn't grown into that guy. So we'll see if he can be trade bait. Josh Morrissey, he'd be a player. We could move for some salary cap dump. Let's see. What is the market like for some of these guys? Morrissey. Beach, Pitlick, 
Johnson, Dvorak, Biron. I mean, Biron might be tempting, but uh, I don't know. Not really any trades I like. What I see for Josh Morrissey there. Oh, and Kirkman, first overall pick by the Devils. Interesting. Hmm. Noah Dobson. Ah, I don't know if we trade him. He's trying to be our best pairing for Gerard, but Tage Thompson. What can we get for him? Minnesota, they want to give up two second round picks. So he's not really worth a first, apparently, but their second round pick is like second overall. So, I mean, if we can get maybe something else out of this. What do you got? No. Okay, how about a third as well? Yeah. No, do you want to do that? Eh. And a, how about a fourth? No. Okay. Yeah, I saw that coming. Uh, no, they don't even want to do that. That's unfortunate. Okay. What if... Samuelson, throw in a young defenseman maybe. Hasn't really reached his potential. Uh, all sure. And, ah, we need someone that's not under contract. Okay. What if we throw in... What do we throw in here? Don't really want to overpay to get rid of his contract, but nine million dollars a year is a pretty good hit. Uh, how about Sedin? No. Okay. Take away that third. Maybe make it a fourth or a fifth. A future fourth. Really? Okay. Might just be the two second round picks. <sighs> I'm trying to want more, but that's gonna have to be what is B. Realize we just shed nine million in salary cap. We need the salary cap. Tage Thompson hasn't been doing for it. Maybe he finds his game again in Minnesota. But pretty much Tage Thompson for Matthew Boldy and picks. That's kind of what the trade has come down to since the deadline in now. So we'll see if that works out for both teams. And we're not done just there. After setting, shedding some salary there. Much needed. We are going to go and try and make this trade with Edmonton again. Six overall pick, 17th. And now we got some extra draft capital here. So let's see what we can do. Uh... Daughter, top four, Burroughs. They don't really want any rookie skaters here, so let's see. What if we throw in Thomas Harley, RFA? And can we get anything else from them? Maybe in fourth? No? Okay. I don't want to do that. How about this? No. Really? Wow. Okay. And... Edmonton always can use some defense. So what if we throw in another... We'll throw in a future second. No? Okay. And how about... Third and let's see, Vukovic ah, is an RFA. Someone we'd like on our team, but Edmonton wants him. That trade has gone through. Thank you, Vukovic, for all you've done. Good luck in Edmonton, but we are now up to six overall. 
Uh, and we might move down again if the player we want is not there. Henley. Jass. Uh, San Jose took him. Alright. So, yeah, Christian Thalberger, top four defenseman. Still looking for a D man here. So, if we go down, you got either McAllister, kind of offensive defenseman, maybe like your Twin Hughes kind of player, or you got Pateri, Pateni. Kind of a similar style to Chara. Defensive. Uh, so I think we're going to move down here. Let's see. Move down to... Maybe 10? 10 or 11 we'll try to move down to, I think. Let's see if we can get some extra capital out of that. What do we got? We got six overall pick. Who wants it? Who wants it? Who really wants it? Show me the money. St. Louis. Alright, they have the eighth. Maybe we can get uh, something a little more. Oof, the Whitney guy. That'd be something. Bull Duke. No. Don't really have anyone we really want. Mm. How about another third? And a fourth? No? Okay. Yeah, I'll only remove up two spots. Yeah, we'll get another third round pick out of this. Alright. Just building up our draft capital here. We only dropped two spots. Warner. Yeah, two guys that we really didn't want anyway. Uh, we got Phaneuf and Thalberger still there. Uh, honestly, I'm still thinking. Brandon Patini. Looks like he's starting to move down, but I think we're going for him. Just a little bit higher selection, but we're going off the board here. Boston takes Phaneuf. All right, now we got a high second round pitch here. And we got Eli Finley. He's a gem, X Factor. Mm, similar style to Theo Fleury. But Harold Glentross, 17 years old. Matthew Priestap. That's kind of tough. What are we going to take? That is interesting there. But, you know what? He says he's a gem. X-Factor. Top 6. Finley. Welcome to the Tigers. Alright. Third round pitch. What do we got here? Check. Holmstrom. Byers. Not Will Byers. That would just be Stranger Things. But up ba Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Spencer Pitts, six foot four, eighteen years older. Yeah, it should be interesting there. Ooh, what do we got here? Thomas Franzen, center, right wing. But Lorenzo O'Sullivan. Eee. I think uh, O'Sullivan should be someone we're hoping for to take in the fourth round. Do we risk? Do we risk and see if he drops? I don't want to. Let's go. Medium elite in the third round. There you go. Thank you, Scouts. Alright. Yeah, we know you probably get picked up. Don't want to risk that. Matt Borchstrand. Right wing. Top six. Right shot D. Gene Traverse. He's got some size on the center as well. He's tough. Uh, Borchstrand. We'll go with the Swede. Borchstrand. See if he can be something for us. Alright. Columbus State's Traverse. What we got here next up? Um, Bork. Tiny. Tiny Bork. 
Danny Frank. Uh, some of these names that they auto generate. I mean, to tell you, uh, top four, top four. And I'm kind of liking uh, Brent Fernandez. The defensive picks we've had here. So maybe we can find another offensive selection here. We'll go with the Russian Vishnesky. See if he's going to bolt to the KHL or if he'll be a proud Hamilton Tiger. All right, then we got Dustin Marchant, Eugene Dovin, Donovan. Uh, sit down, Barracks. What do we got? What do we got, sir? Anything really up for grabs? Fernandez still there. Ooh, low elite. Tiny Bork still there. Hmm. There's a goalie. Adam Boos. Oh, there you go. When they're booing, you know, it's just saying his last name. <laughs> Not actually booing you there, kid. Don't you worry. All right. Let's see if we can find a diamond in the rough now. Neil Jarvis. Ooh. Dilbert was seen. Top four. All right. That's pretty good for a seventh round pick. I'm pretty happy with that draft class, people. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Yeah. Seven. Seven decent rookies, I think, out of this class, so it should be uh, promising. It should be one of our best draft classes we've had. We'll have to find out, but uh, I think potential-wise, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, Resigned coaches. Scouts. I think we are going to let our coach go. I think it's time to have a new coach. Uh, the guy we've had under our staff now for the last three years has just not done his job. Uh, Ty Smith, Lemieux, Chromiak, will qualify you, my guy. Forche, oof, you want two million? Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, qualify you, sorry, bad. We're gonna let you go, qualify you. Caleb Lawrence, the big guy to qualify. Zuber, goodbye. Alsher, qualify. Samuelson, qualify. Fergus, qualify. But I th honestly, I think Fergus is the trade target right now for us. He's not grown at all. It's kind of disappointing, but we'll see. We'll probably have to trade him away for something. Uh, there we go. No more RFAs. Goalies, Tristan Lennox and Verbetic be a nice AHL tandem again. Uh, what else we got? Stamkos, how much money do you want? You know what? That's not bad. That is not bad. That is reasonable. I think if we could do two years for you at that price, I would sign you to that. Not a problem. What about Bertuzzi? Uh, he wants a little bit more money. He wants that until he's 30. Not really going to do that. But Ty Smith. Let's see if we can sign him to a three year deal. Say just over six. See if he wants that. Ty Smith. And Stamkos. What do we do with you? Uh, can we get you a little bit cheaper? Please say yes. And. I think Bertuzzi, unfortunately, is going to have to walk. Adrian Burroughs. Sign you, my guy. Same as Goddard. Yeah, yeah, you guys will. Uh, Giles. This might be the worst draft pick ever. Carpenter. I think we let him play overseas one more season. And then AHL. And then NHL. So it could be our starter in two years. Two or three. Uh whenever Swayman's ready to move on. Uh Adam Lowry. Definitely would like to have him back in that fourth line center role. He was huge uh for us. Let's see if we can get him at two point two. Nice veteran presence. Lemieux, get him with Lowry. And be a bully of a fourth line. Uh, Forche, I don't really want to sign him that much. Uh, 
goalies. They're not really anyone I'm worried about losing too much, but Willie Muir. Honestly, it'll probably just be trade bait. Freddie Anderson, we're going to let walk. Bertuzzi, we'll see if we can sign him cheaper in free agency. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Who wants to sign? There you go. Adam Lowry, Lemieux. Ooh, Ty Smith, he wants more money. That could be dangerous. There you go. Stamp goes. He wants to be a tighter. All right, Willie Muir. Beautiful. We love what we're seeing here. All right. I'd say for you, Paul. We are going to have to say you got one year left on your contract. I don't think you have what it takes. Goodbye. You have failed this city. Uh, Mark Davidson. Keep you on assistant coach. But we are going to have to find a coach next episode. Someone that can lead this team. Because honestly, Xavier Paul just couldn't do it. The team kind of lost faith in him, unfortunately. I don't know, because this team, like the lineup we've had, it has potential to at least, at least get to a cup. But we can't get to the past the first round when we're in the first round. And then we always choked it away, it seems. The playoffs. It's either we get knocked out in the first round, or we choked it away in the last few games of the season and just missed the playoffs. Things need to change. We're giving it one more shot. Because of the injuries, we'll give it one more shot before we blow this team up. We still have faith in this team. And I'm excited for the youth on this team to come up and see what they can do. All right. Who still do we have to sign here? Let's go. All right. Tyler Bertuzzi, Ty Smith. Ty Smith. Let's see how much more, more money. You want it six years. We're not going to give you six. We'll give you three. And how about six point three? 6.3. We should be happy with that for a top four roll. And... Yeah, no one else were really... Sad to lose right now. I mean, Bertuzzi might hurt the most, but uh, we could sign him for cheaper and free agency, possibly too. There you go. Ty Smith is a Tiger. No longer a rental. And RFA sign in. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. AHL squad looking good. All right. What a thing of beauty, eh? Don't you know? Don't you worry about a thing. Okay, da, da, da. let's see what we got here as we peek ahead in this free agency class. See who we could go after. Who would be a nice addition. Quinn Hughes. He almost wants $15 million a year. Are you kidding me? Wow. Nico Hiche. Alright, he's a UFA. Jared McCann. O'Reilly, Kempe, Studnika, Batherson, Bertuzzi. Oof, teams want him, so that's going to be tough to sign him for cheaper, I think. But I think Jack Studnika was someone that I think could replace uh, Tage Thompson. And, uh, or Studnika to replace Bertuzzi, at least. Boldy replaced Tage Thompson. And then we have Yakupov. Yakupov will probably stay on the third line with Misa. BR thinking, but let's see how much they draw. Uh, Dante Fabro. Looks like he's still there. Didn't want to resign. Interesting. Jordan Greenway. Some size on the third line. John Marino, a right shot D man. That that's someone we want right there. John Marino. That would be a nice addition to our defense. Uh t -t -t what about goalies? Backup goalie. We nice want a solid depth goalie for us in case the goalie gets hurt. 
uh, would be fine signing one to three or four million a year for one or two years. Mark Andre Fleury, I don't think you have it anymore. Jack Campbell, possibly, but he is up there in age. Rusikians, 33. Forsberg, interesting people, interesting. But that is what next episode is for. Until then, we are signing off. This is Crash Course GM wishing you guys a happy week. Till next time, cheers.